it's Bear O'Clock, and it's the Bear O'Clock Show, Flavor of the Month. We're back with one of those beers that the Little Leeds Beer House up in Leeds has selected for us as something that's quite interesting to drink this month. My name is Mark, and joining me, as always, is my Flavor of the Month, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? There's an introduction and a half. I'm <laughs> very well, thank you, and I'm really looking forward to this month's selection. Yes, this month's selection is from Magic Rock. It is Common Grounds Triple Coffee Porter in a can, as always. Let's get into it, guys. Yeah. Guys, there's only one of you. There's <laughs> only one of me, only me. Um, we did record a, a main show before tonight's episode, so I'm a little bit... Yeah. I'm a little bit merry. But, oh, look at that pouring out. This is... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make no bones about this, because people would have seen me raving about this on 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 twitter and instagram um this is rapidly becoming one of my favorite beers to drink um as a as a triple coffee porter as as it is in a can ice cold from the fridge it's almost perfect um it is absolutely stunning i i love everything about this beer straight away lots of coffee as you expect but lots of chocolate on there as well Quite a quite a soft nose, considering. It is. It's, it's, it's not overpowering, is it? It doesn't. It doesn't smack right. you with the coffee, but there's just enough there to to let you know what it is. Mhm. Yeah. Just anyway, looks great in a glass as well. I mean, look at that. It's black. It's got a big, thick, off-white head. It's oh. It's let's... another beer selected by the guys up at Little Leeds Beer House. Thanks again to them for providing this beer. They always do our selections for flavor of the month, and that's a pitch black glass of beer. That it is. So uh, let's get into it, mate. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's um again the coffee's there, but it's not overpowering. It's it's very well balanced. It doesn't finish with a massive bitterness. It's a very well balanced bitter finish, but it's it's just laced with with with, with coffee flavours and chocolate as well. The chocolate comes through, um, quite a dry finish to it as well um, in terms of classic porter styling, but just really well balanced and it all works really well together. Yeah, it's got a nice smooth palate on there, a hint of smoke, chocolate coffee with a kind of a central vanilla flavors coming through on that it's it's really nice and smooth it's 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 quite viscous isn't it yeah yeah it's it's, it's sticky it's sticky steve it's a little bit sticky it's a little bit oily so it's all yeah. you know it, it, it sits around but it is it, like, like i say for me it's it's really well balanced um the, the coffee comes through and it comes through at various stages and 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 that 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 probably is, is is a bit of a nod to to the fact that magic rock actually used coffee you used three different types of coffee hence the triple coffee porter and they used it at three different stages w- within the brewing process as well so um i'll, I'll give you a, a little bit of background uh, about it but this is um and i'm going to make no bones about this this is this is straight from a blog on, on the magic rock website which is linked through to in the show notes if you want to read all of it because they did put quite a fascinating piece together uh, about this beer. So it's it's a collab with Darkwoods, uh, who are coffee roasters. They're, they're based in uh, Slaithwaite. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure if I pronounce it wrong, you know what people are like. They'll pull us up on it. Um, and Magic Rock have said they've, they've always wanted to do a coffee beer, um, but they didn't quite know what to do about it. And they've, they've, they've played around with coffee versions of cannonball and high wire in in the past so putting coffee into to some of their power beers to see how that works um so they eventually settled on doing a a coffee porter with the guys from darkwoods and as i say they selected three different types of coffee um which were all um, put in in different stages so uh during the mash they put in a darker roast blend of natural brazilian indian and ethiopian beans um during the whirlpool stage it was a blend of Panama Cafe Cotua Natural, Panam Finca Larida Natural that, that were added. Um, I'm just as bad at, at, at pronouncing <laughs> coffee as, as, as I'm at pronouncing brewery names. 
Um, and then during the conditioning stage, they added Ethiopian uh, Jurg and Rwanda Maraba 3. Um, so three diff- lots of different types of coffee, three different stages of the brewing process, hence a triple coffee porter. Very good. So it's not a triple porter with coffee in it. It's actually triple coffee because it's three types of coffee. Got it. I was a bit worried that it was going to be super strong, but no, instead you've got the, a lovely blend of coffee. And I'm not mad on coffee. I'm not a mad coffee drinker, but I love coffee and beer. Yeah. Especially when it's balanced again with some sweetness and a little bit of chocolatey notes in there and the vanilla kind of really balances it off. And it's quite quite a lacing beer as well. My, my mouth is still a bit oily from the first first round. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, what, 5.4% as, as well. It's really drinkable. It's it's in the perfect beer vessel as as well the the, the nano keg or or the yeah. can as most people call it um, and again I just love this can design that that the black and the brown just work together so well on on there for me um, everything about this beer comes together as almost the perfect package of, of a beer for me. And like I say, I'm enjoying it at the moment while while we're here in the middle of summer, it's quite warm. It's, it's quite nice to have this ice cold from the fridge. Mm-hmm. Equally, I think this will work just as well in the winter, room temp, nice coffee porter on a, on a colder evening. Yeah, I mean, having this cold from the fridge, it's, it's like a dark chocolate magnum. Yeah, it's a great shout, mate, yeah. <laughs> It's just really refreshing. You know, I've, we've said before, and I know I've definitely said before, that porters can be, despite what you might think, they can be really refreshing beers. Because when, especially when they're cold, they reside in your mouth a little bit longer, so the coolness is there, and you also get a few more flavors. Because I don't know about you, but ho- really hoppy beers can kind of heat me up a little bit and make me a little bit uncomfortable, especially when you're doing pint after pint, whereas porters can kind of give you a reset and especially when you have them cold, it's just a really nice balance to refresh you a little bit. Yeah, I'm 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 with you on that. I've I've, I've been a fan of a of a nice cold porter for a while now, and and sometimes they can, that they can take you to a place on a warm day where even the biggest and hoppiest of of, of beers just can't get you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, yes. Yeah, so another great beer from from Magic Rock. What I like about Magic Rock is they're kind of, for a long while now, kind of Beaver Town has been, for me, that master of the dark beer in the can. But Magic Rock are coming out with, you know, a few late in the last six months or so that have kind of almost been catching up to Beaver Town. You know, because Beaver Town have had Smog Rocket, they've had Holy Cowbell and beers like that. But this common ground with Triple Coffee Porter... It wouldn't be at the level of Smog Rocket for me, which is one of my all-time favourites, mm-hmm. but it's really good. It's really solid. It's a really good beer, and it's definitely worth checking out if you can find it somewhere. Yeah, and I, I mean, it, it is widely available as, as, as well, this, so it's it's not only available from Little Leeds Beer House. Um, you can get this uh, in most places now, and also it's but largely because it's it's part of their core range now as, as well. So, oh, is it? Yes, yeah, so you will be seeing... Oh, great. Um, uh, a lot more, a lot more common grounds from from time to time, as and when they've got capacity to brew it. I, I I would have thought, and it, it might be quite nice if they start um, if they start playing around with the coffee in it as well, um, changing mm. the coffee up and seeing if that if that changes it at all in in future batches. But certainly one that I'd say look out for. Also, if you happen to be anywhere and you see it on cask, obvious statement: get a pint of it in your face <laughs> as as quick as possible because this on cask is stunning. Right. Okay. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thanks again to um, the Little Leeds Beer House. They're always providing great beers, and they do provide the beers for the show, for which we are very much grateful. Um, and like I say, at the end of every one of these Flavor of the Months, if you're in Leeds, go check out Little Leeds Beer House. It's a lovely little shop overlooking the High Street there. It's in the... I keep asking you every, every show, what's the name of the shopping centre that it's in? It's it's in the Corn Exchange, which which is about a five-ish minute walk from from, from the station. And as yeah. as Mark said, go up and, and say hi to Rich or Bryony. Uh, one of them will be working, if if not both of them. 
Um, and if, if you're unsure about what beers to buy, just ask them because they are very, very friendly and they will give you advice and, and, and they'll point you in the direction. Yeah, and you can drink in the shop as well. So Always a bonus. Why not? In the, the fantastic beer city that is Leeds, Little Leeds, beer, beer. <laughs> those guys Come are right on, in the middle. Mate. Come on, you can get through it. <laughs> Come on. Woo! Right. I think that's about it, Stevie. I, I believe it is, yeah. I've, I've not got um, much more to say about this. I've already uh, poured my love for this beer all over this episode. Um, just just go out and find it and drink it and, and enjoy it in your own way. Indeedy. So that's been Beer O'Clock Show, Flavour of the Month. Stevie, until next month. It's been the buddy. highlight of my month, mate. Mine too. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye.